Hi, today I'm going to show you how to multiply mixed number fractions. The problem I'm going to show you will be, we'll start with 3 and 2 thirds times 4 and 3 fifths. These are considered mixed number fractions because they have a whole number along with the fraction. Okay, so when I start off multiplying fractions, we can't have any whole numbers. So we're going to go through and change both of these to improper fractions. The way I'm going to do it is start with the denominator, multiply it by the whole number, then add on the numerator. So 3 times 3 plus 2. This is what I'm thinking. 3 times 3 plus 2. And that equals 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So we put 11 and then go back up to our original denominator, which was 3. Okay, the next one, I'm going to do it a little quicker this time. 5 times 4 plus 3 equals 23. Use our original denominator of 5. So now both of these are improper fractions and we're ready to multiply. Unlike when you're adding or subtracting fractions, the denominators do not have to be the same for multiplying. So I just go ahead, multiply straight across once I have this. 11 times 23, and then I'll do 3 times 5. So 11 times 23 is going to be a little trickier. You can use whatever multiplication method you'd like. So I'll just do the lattice method, and I take my time and draw out my lattice box nice and neatly so that I don't make any simple mistakes while I'm multiplying because that's where the biggest problems come in when we're multiplying fractions, is that we try to rush. Okay, so now I set it up, I put 11, and then 23 on the side, and I multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. Remember, I fill in the 0 where there, if it's not a two-digit number. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Then I go through. I add up my columns and I, do, I ignore my original numbers. So sometimes I darken those lines so that I don't worry about those. 3 plus nothing is 3. 2 plus 0 plus 3 is 5. 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2. Okay, and then I um, just have 0 here, so that's nothing. So my original problem of 11 times 23 we know equals 253 and then I multiply the bottom, the denominators. 3 times 5 is 15. Great, so now I have my answer of 253 over 15. But I notice that it's an improper fraction and we always have to simplify the fraction. So in order to change my improper fraction, we think of this as a div division problem. So I have to think 253 divided by 15. Okay, so now I have to go through and set up my division problem. This is a multi-step problem, that's why it takes a little bit longer. So now I'm dividing 253 by 15, I'm going to use partial quotients division method. So how many times can 15 go into 23? I'll just start with 10. I know 10 would be 150, so that's a nice easy number to start with. 10 times 15 is 150. Subtract, I get 3, 0, and 1. Then I'm going to go ahead and 10 will be too big, so why don't I go down to 5. 5 times 15 would be 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Good. So now I'll change this. 9, 13 minus 5 is 8, 9 minus 7 is 2. Okay, 15 can go into 28. I know only one time. If it was 2, it would be 30. 1 times 15... Subtract 8 minus 5 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 15 cannot go into 13. That's where I stop and have my remainder. So I add these up and I have 16 with my remainder of 13. And I use my original denominator, which was 15. So 16 and 13 fifteenths. If I had... Um, if I could simplify here, I would, but I know that already that these numbers are simplified as much as they can. So that is my answer, 16 and 13 over 15. Thank you.